is what my audience looks like. It looks like whatever slide I'm showing you because I can't see you. I know that you're there, but I can't see your reactions. Behind the camera is a person, many people often. You need to focus on the camera when you're talking and not on your slides. Here I am focusing on the slide on monitor one, and here I am focusing on the slide on monitor two. I can still give my presentation, but it looks weird because I'm not looking at you. Now I am looking at you. I can't see my notes as clearly, but because I've practiced this presentation, I know what I'm going to say. I only need to look down a little bit to see what's going on. And you need to make sure that you are looking at that camera too. Please raise your hands if the last webinar or presentation that you attended, not this one, anyone before, asked you to respond in some way to a question or a poll. Another thing that I've been doing all along is calling people by their names. So, hello, Wynn, thank you for joining us. Instead of, hi everyone, thanks for being here. See the difference? When I say somebody's name, when I welcome someone into the group, when I ask someone in particular to elaborate on something she has typed or said, then that is involving that person very intimately. This is not going to count for your final grade, so don't worry about it. Next question, what common household product can be used to reflect light onto your face when you're presenting online? We'll see who types the fastest. Yeah. Uh, MJ, tin foil. Nice. Diane Spadola, aluminum foil. And Lawrence was also right. Just exactly. not fast. I accept tin foil because I routinely call it tin foil myself.